Why the God particle theorized by Peter Higgs matter? Also, why do we need a time standard for moon surface? And why Prime Minister's recent interview takes you to some very important issues of IR. Hello everyone, I am Manas Srivastav and I am here with three must reads from the Indian Express today. Aaj ki tariq hai, 11th of April, April 11th. Aur aaj fir hum kuch important articles ke baare mein, jo ki aapke current affairs ke liye bhoat relevant hai and for any stage of your competitive examinations, also to enrich your knowledge in general. Now before going ahead, I just want to remind you that uh, there's a very important article which the UPSC section of the Indian Express does every day monday to friday in fact uh, which tells you how to read the newspaper what to read from the newspaper sometimes going beyond the headlines digging deep to some relevant questions taking you to some other important articles and points to ponder so make the best use of that article and make your newspaper reading and therefore current affairs preparation easy now let me start with the first must read और जो पहला सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट रीड है वो आता है एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट पेज से जो कि है एक्सप्लेन्ड पेज ऑफ द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड टुडे ऑन द एक्सप्लेन्ड पेज ऑफ द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट राइटर्स ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक ऑफ एनवायरमेंट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज अमिताभ सिन्हा हैज रिटन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड रेलिवेंट आर्टिकल एक्सप्लेनर ऑन वाई द गॉड पार्टिकल थ्योराइज बाय पीटर हिक्स मैटर ओके Now recently Peter Higgs ki death hui hai he passed away and uh, therefore uh, this particular topic has become very relevant in news once again now before going ahead i would just like to tell you that sometimes uh, whenever there is a topic of science and uh, economy and uh, you know environment वर्ड्स बिकम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन कैन बी फ्रेम अराउंड दोज वर्ड्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल जब ये आप आर्टिकल पढ़ेंगे तो हिग्स पर्सन लार्ज लार्ज हार एंड कोलाइडर स्टैंडर्ड मॉडल ऑफ पार्टिकल फिजिक्स इस तरह के टर्म्स फोटोन इस तरह के टर्म्स बहुत आपको नजर आएंगे सो प्लीज अंडरलाइन दैम इफ देर इज अ डेफिनेशन और देर आर सर्टन प्रॉपर्टीज और क्वालिटीज रिटर्न अबाउट दोज टर्म्स जस्ट नोटेड डाउन और टू सर्च इफ यू If you cannot, because questions जो है बीच में से कहीं बन सकते हैं Now, uh, the larger question around this particular article or this, you know, God's particle is that why do some uh, particles have mass? Why do some particles have mass? ये question अगर आपके दिमाग में रहेगा तो आपको कई बार exam में options चबाएंगे तो आपको click कर सकता है so what is the whole issue here i mean why is this particular article being written usko hum first paragraph mein padh lete hain it required nearly 50 years and billions of dollars to detect the higgs boson in 2012 an elementary particle like electrons quarks photons and uh, the higgs boson is known to impart mass to every other particle while its existence was predicted in 1960s it was found only in 2012 through experiments carried out at the LHC or Large Hadron Collider located on the France Switzerland border the world's biggest and most expensive machine at the time okay so this machine is important of course we are talking about Higgs boson that is important it's known as god's particle now please pay attention why is it called god's particle it is called god's particle because higgs boson is called god's particle by nobel prize winning physicist and it's not by peter higgs okay he he's not kept his own name uh peter nobel prize winning physicist uh, leon lederman who wrote a book about this continuing search of this particle okay now when peter higgs got nobel prize for physics in 2013 and then you know this term becomes very important higgs boson so he got this nobel prize in physics in 2013 for higgs boson and higgs field so remember these two things are there now the question which should be your you know focused question is why does higgs boson or you know this higgs field what is its significance and why it matters so just look at this paragraph as i read 
Poisson is the name given to family of elementary particles known to be carries uh, known to be carriers of fundamental force like electromagnetism. ठीक है तो ये elementary particles होते हैं Poisson होते क्या हैं They are elementary particles. A photon which carries the electromagnetic force is a Poisson. Matter particles like electrons or protons belong to the class families called fermions. ओके okay, तो आपको यहाँ पे डेफिनेशन मिल जा रही है ऑफ द बेसिक टर्म्स तो इसको तो आपको पॉइंट्स में नोट कर लेना चाहिए समटाइम्स पीपल आस्क मी व्हाट टू नोट फ्रॉम द न्यूज़पेपर दीज आर द डेफिनेशन व्हिच यू शुड क्रिस्पली नोट एक्सप्लेन्ड आर्टिकल का ये खासियत है दैट इन वेरी यू नो स्मॉल वेरी पिन पॉइंट डेफिनेशन आर गिवेन the next paragraph again becomes important the higgs boson is significant as it is the particle which accounts for the mass of every other fundamental particle mass is not something that is intrinsic to matter fundamental particles like electrons do not have mass within themselves in 1950s or 60s when the standard model was still being developed scientists realized that the equation did not work if these particles had inherent masses so that is how it is linked to this standard the uh, you know standard model of physics is se ye kaise uh, linked hai the particle physics se dusri cheez you should understand electron ka as it has been mentioned that mass is not something which is intrinsic and particles like electrons do not have mass within themselves now the question arises that how these mass masses are these some particles get masses तो so, यहाँ पे जो दो पैराग्राफ है जो कि बहुत ही रेलिवेंट हो जाता है इस पर्टिकुलर आर्टिकल के लिए बहुत पोटेंशियल क्वेश्चंस बन सकते हैं सेज दैट एज इट बिकम्स क्लियर लेटर दैट द इंटरेक्शन ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स विद हिक्स फील्ड द वे दे चेंज देयर फील्ड और गेट चेंज बाय देम दैट लेंड देम द मास ठीक है तो मास कैसे और मिल रहा है वो यहाँ पे है सो आई कैन मेक अ वेरी स्मॉल क्वेश्चन आउट ऑफ इट इज इंट इट The greater the interaction, the larger the mass. जितना ज्यादा interaction है उतना ज्यादा mass होगा Different particles interact with the field in different ways, and that is what gives them different masses. तो हर particle एक field से different तरीके से interact करता है The amount of interaction determines the amount of mass. Okay? Now, a photon, this is a special thing which has been mentioned, which is a light particle, does not interact with the field at all and thus doesn't have mass. It's massless. there are other particles that are massless as well but particles like electrons protons do not do interact i'm sorry they do interact and have masses higgs boson itself interacts with this field and has mass so if i ask you which of these things do not have masses photons electrons protons and higgs boson so of course the answer should be photon okay now here as i told you that there are many other terms which become very important large hadron collider ke bare mein aapko pata hona chahiye and the last important thing is that there are still some unexplained bits which cannot be explained through this god particle or x boson or x field one such thing is dark energy okay abhi kuch din pehle we have talked about dark energy can you comment in the box below and let me know ki dark energy ka kis sandarbh mein humne baat kiya tha it was there in yesterday's newspaper also and before that also and i'll just give you a hint amitabh sinha wrote about it okay so dark energy and i just tell you another hint is something called desi and it has a desi connection also so uh, let's let's revise that way now my last thing uh, the second thing which is very important here today is the of the same page explain science another uh, another writer who writes on science and technology explain science may alin chauhan writes a time standard for moon surface what is it and why is it needed तो मून पे भी एक टाइम स्टैंडर्ड होना चाहिए एंड व्हाई डू वी नीड इट एंड व्हाट इज इट इसको बताया गया है व्हाई इज इट इन न्यूज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ व्हिच विल टेल यू एंड इट सेज द व्हाइट हाउस हैज डायरेक्टेड नासा टू क्रिएट अ टाइम स्टैंडर्ड फॉर द मून व्हिच इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड प्राइवेट कंपनीज कैन यूज टू कोऑर्डिनेट एक्टिविटीज ऑन द लूनर सर्फेस द स्पेस एजेंसी हैज बीन आस्क टू वर्क विद अदर पार्ट ऑफ यूएस गवर्नमेंट टू फाइनलाइज बाई द एंड ऑफ टू ट्वेंटी स्ट्रैटेजी टू स्टैब्लिश अ कोऑर्डिनेटेड लूनर टाइम विच इज कॉल्ड एल टी सी प्लीज पे अटेंशन टू दिस वर्ड अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म टू अंडरलाइन मे बी coordinated lunar time according to uh, reuters which which first reported about the project now sabse pehle aapko moon pe jaane se pehle earth ke bare mein batao 
पता चाहिए कि अर्थ पे टाइम कैसे कैलकुलेट होता है तो यहाँ पे जो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आंसर है उसके बारे में बताता है दैट मोस्ट क्लॉक्स एंड टाइम जोन आर बेस्ड ऑन कोऑर्डिनेटेड यूनिवर्सल टाइम्स कॉल्ड यू सो लूनर है तो एल और यहाँ पे यूनिवर्सल टाइम कॉर्डिनेटर तो यू Which is said by the International Bureau of Weights and Measures in Paris. Look at the location; it's in Paris. UTC is essentially an internationally agreed standard for world time. UTC is tracked by a weighted average of more than 400 atomic clocks. Please, this is a very important term here. Atomic clock. We will talk about it a little later also. Placed around the globe, atomic clocks measure time in terms of the resonant frequencies the natural frequency of an object where it tends to vibrate at higher amplitude of atom such as cesium 133 now uh, i would like you to open your geography books and where you know this earth ke bare mein rotation evolution calculation of time ke bare mein baat kiya gaya hai the, the chapter which talks about calculation of time there you would understand about gmt which is green which mean time and how countries adjust their time accordingly minus or subtract okay so ye jo topic hai itna chhota sa paragraph takes you to that particular static portion of the syllabus so connected with that revise your static and that is how current affairs takes you to static part of the syllabus when i say static part of the syllabus i mean those geography polity economy which you study in your books okay standard books so yahan se you have to go there and understand about gmt and how time is calculated on earth many ye jo padhi hai yahan pe that is important for your atomic clocks okay atomic clocks is a very important thing because we are going to have it in the later part of this article again with reference to moon moon ke reference mein important ho jata hai now why do we need to calculate time or standard time on moon so time flows differently on moon and cannot be determined using utc now please understand moon pe time calculation different hota hai hoga aur earth pe alag hoga now jab hum itne sare lunar missions hai na there are so many lunar missions and therefore wahan pe agar hum earth ke hisab se time calculate karne gaye so there can be little bit problem and why is that problem happening this paragraph will tell you one of the experts told alan chohan uh, in the indian express that a fundamental aspect of nature in the universe is that time is not absolute that seems crazy to us on earth as our experience of time is that it just constantly ticks but if you travel to the moon your clock would be ticking slightly faster this is a consequence of albert einstein's theory of general relativity which tells us that gravity bends space and time very important line okay please underline it as there is less gravity on moon time ticks slightly faster there relative to the earth okay this is said by one of the experts now this can actually cause some uh, problem some lapses or something uh, some discrepancies now in order to uh, you know save our lunar mission because now you see even india has lined up so many lunar missions okay now us is already there abhi samajh lo ki if everybody is together and there is some time ka issue they can crash they can collide halaki iske chances bahut kam hai it happens very less it would happen very less but uh, we need to fix this okay and therefore you have this kind of need to calculate or to uh, you know uh, need the standard time and therefore you need to have this kind of a system now how will this be established this is not very clear how is it going to be established now atomic clocks can be deployed on the moon on various you know portion of the moons but uh the problem here is that the atomic clocks ticks differently at different positions all right even uh, on earth you will find the atomic clock is uh, ticking differently or uh, you know uh, performs differently at the equator and it is different at the poles because it is dependent on the uh, the the uh, the rotation and you know the speed at which the earth revolves and you know that at the equator uh, the earth rotates faster and at poles it rotates slower so that is one of the differences and therefore there can be problems at the moon also so uh, this is something which you must understand from the perspective of both geography and a little bit of science uh, connected to the lunar missions the moon missions 
uh, we recently have Chandrayaan and other missions. Now, the last article comes from uh, another very important article, which is from the front page. And when I go to the front page, I'm talking about this article, uh, which talks about the PM's recent interview. Now, whenever a prime minister or some person at a constitutional post gives an interview or speaks something, it becomes very important. For example, you get to know about SEO quad bricks here. Also, there is a mention of line of actual control in Eastern Ladakh. Now, it's important to understand that what is the focus of the government and uh, this becomes a potential question for your examination then. Also, why I want to hint you on it because examination is about linking backward and forward topics. So, Kali Aapne Parhata US China ka. Okay, today you're talking about India, India's Prime Minister talking about certain international uh, issues, okay, foreign relations issues. So therefore, these topics should be highlighted, these topics should be read and revised. That's all from me today. Please write to me at manas.shivastava at indianexpress.com. Think smart, work hard, conquer your goal. Bye-bye.